I was in the Air Force in Europe. I lived in Germany uh, for about seven years and fell in love with that Rhine Valley, Moselle Valley, started helping at the wineries uh, along uh, those wine regions of, of Germany and really kind of fell in love with that whole lifestyle, the family lifestyle, the uh, winemaking. And so I came back to the States and I did the corporate job thing and I started taking coursework at UC Davis uh, in Davis, California and decided that this was really what I wanted to do with my life. We had so much fun visiting other wineries and castles and things like that while we were there that we decided that we would bring a piece of that here to Wisconsin. Uh, it just, the land is perfect, the beautiful rolling hills, and this was a bean field. And we fondly tease our neighbor saying how he was so lucky that it grew a castle. We grow grapes uh, in our own vineyard here on site, and we also have vineyards throughout Wisconsin and Minnesota. And then we also import grapes from uh, Washington State and California and Michigan, uh, just for varietals that we can't grow here. Uh, we always pride ourselves on the local grapes, uh, which we use Frontenac and Marquette, uh, La Crescent. And uh, I find that they're very distinctive in their flavors, and, and it's kind of fun. And we get people from California like, wow, we, I've never heard of this grape, and we want to bring some of this back to California. So it's kind of fun to have that flair of the unique hybrid grapes that we have here. Some of the wines that we're really known for are our Wild River Rosé, which is named after the Wild River, which is the St. Croix River. Um, that actually won the best international trophy winner for the uh, Indian International Wine Competition, so it was the best rosé in the nation, and it got written up by USA Today. The other one that's fun and we're famous for is Cheesehead White, the Packer wine. So we, uh, we do have fun with that every year, and uh, it sells out every year, and it's just a fun bottle of wine. With the white wines, we try to keep them fresh and crisp and real fruity and try to capture that essence of the wine. Um, so that's probably our signature with the whites. With the red wines, we like full body, uh, nice ripe fruit, so you get a lot of flavor, a lot of jamminess. Um, you get uh, a big, heavy, uh, but still silky on your palate. And that's what we try to do with all of our reds. Um, we don't do a lot of the lighter kind of reds or what we call the watery reds. We try to stick with the real big, heavy style reds. We have several events throughout the year here at the winery. We do a spring festival the third weekend in June, a fall festival the third weekend in September. We do a New Year's Eve masquerade ball, which is just a blast. We also have the opportunity for people to come out and watch equestrian sport. We play a game called polo cross, which is like lacrosse on a horse. We have a lot of weddings. Uh, We've got a space for 200 people. They can come and enjoy. They can have their ceremony here. They can have their reception here. And it's been very popular. We also do wine dinners that are extremely popular. And we encourage people to come and enjoy themselves, have a glass of wine, some cheese and crackers, really make a day of being here.